Simplify. Write the answer with only positive exponents. Assume that all variables represent non-zero real numbers. Here we have the expression where we have the quantity 3x to the negative 2, y to the third, all raised to the negative 2 power, times 4x to the third, y to the negative fourth. I'm going to start the simplification process here with this outer exponent, bringing it in and applying it to each of our factors. So we have a 3 to the negative 2, x to the, when we raise a power to a power, we multiply. So negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4, times y to the 3 times negative 2, or negative 6, times we can just drop the parentheses off the second grouping and write that as times a 4x to the third, y to the negative fourth. As a next step, I'm going to bring this 4 coefficient out into the front. At the same time, move this 3 to the negative 2 down into the denominator, where it becomes 3 to the positive 2. When we cross that fraction bar, we change the sign of the exponent. Also, let's combine our bases using our product rule, x to the fourth times x to the third. Adding exponents is x to the seventh. y to the negative sixth times y to the negative fourth. Adding exponents is y to the negative tenth. Now, as a last step, we want to make sure we write our answer without any uh, negative exponents. So let's bring this y factor down into the denominator. Our numerator will contain a 4 times x to the seventh. The denominator is going to contain this 3 squared, but let's call that 9. And as we bring that y value down, that becomes y to the positive tenth. In simplified form then, our answer looks like 4x to the seventh all over 9y to the 10th.